So over here, you can see that I got a few tabs opened up. And if you want to have quick access to them, then you can use something called collections. So to use collections, you can go around over here on the top, click on this plus button right here, and then you can start a new collection as you can see right here. So you can name the collection as you want. So I'm just going to name mine to the tube right here and add the current piece and it is added over here as you can see. Similarly, I can go around over here onto collection right here. Let's add the current piece right here. Similarly, I'm going to go around and add this to collection over here as well. Click on add current piece, go around over here, choose the collection, click on add current piece as you can see. So this is what you have. You can also add in notes right here. So let's say for example, this is for educational, purposes right here and there you go you can see that this is the collection along with the note over here so you can go around and pin out certain things over here as well so you can go around select this out you can pin this out over here as well and over here on the right side you can see that i can now access out the collections from the right side as well so this is how you can make quick collections of websites for research purposes right here so besides collection, if you want to have quick access to websites, what you can also do is you can add in favorites. So to do that, I'm going to go around onto a tab. And if I were to go around over here and click on favorites, then you can see that I can add this to different favorite areas. So I'm just going to go around over here onto the other favorite area right here. Click on the plus button and here you can see on favorite bar, there is this. You can also keep the favorite within a particular folder if you wish, but I'm just going to keep this here as you can see. Similarly, I'm going to go around and click on this plus button right here to add this to favorite bar. Go around over here, click on this plus button, add this to favorite bar. Click on the plus button right here, add this to favorite bar. And over here, you can see that now all of the pages are there. Even if I were to open up a new tab, here you can see that I can access out these favorites now. I can also right click and then I can edit out the name right here or I can right click right here and delete this off or I can click and drag and rearrange the favorites according to how I like as well. And you can access out the other favorites by clicking on this button right here and you can see all of the um, other favorite folder right here. You can also go around over here onto the menu and over here what you will see is favorites as you can see right here. You can click on this and then you can go around and see the favorites right here as you can see. So I can go around right here uh, and pin the favorites out onto the right side as well to view out the favorites just like this. As you can see, just like you can view the collections right here as you can see. So over here, this is what you have as you can see and you can manage out the favorites. You can also go around and then right click on the bar right here and then uh, a work, work around with showing a favorite bar. So if I were to click on never, then the favorites is hidden as you can see. So if I were to go around over here, there is no favorites whatsoever. But if I were to go around onto favorites right here, this is what you have again. You can go around onto the option right here and click on show favorite bar and click on always again to actually show the favorites bar again. And that is how you can manage out the collections and favorites inside of Microsoft S browser in Microsoft Windows 11. So if you guys learn something as always, and as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.